New stats from the Great Smoky Mountains show just how much the COVID-19 pandemic is impacting visitation to the park and in turn the local economy that relies on tourists. 10 News reporter Jim Matheny digs into the numbers that show surprisingly large crowds in the month of May. If you add up all the visitors to the Smokies in 2020, as you'd expect, it's way down compared to last year. A 40% drop compared to the first five months of 2019. But here's the thing. It's tough for any year to measure up to 2019 because it shattered the visitation record by more than a million people. So instead of comparing everything to last year, we added up all the numbers to come up with the average over the last five years. You still see a severe drop, but not as steep. The visitation down 31% compared to the average. And we already knew visitation was going to be way down considering the park closed from late March through early May. Here is where the numbers get interesting is if you only look at the month of May. Now the previous five years, the Smokies usually average almost exactly 1 million visitors in May. Last month, 828,000 people visited the park. A big number considering the park didn't even open until May 9th. And none of the campgrounds or visitor centers were ever open during May. The park was closed more than 25% of May, and visitation was only down 17%. That means a lot of people visited in three weeks. It says as soon as the gates opened, it was back to business as usual for local tourism, even without many services in the park and a global health crisis. And if June is anything like May, the new normal for visitation is downright normal at the most visited national park in the country, in the Great Smoky Mountains. Jim Matheny, WBIR 10 News. Now, it does take the National Park Service a couple of weeks to add up all the visitation stats from the previous month. So we're going to get an update for June sometime in mid-July.